every morning with drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble Let Hello and welcome into the Rookie Prospect Profile Series This is a Zilla Fantasy Elite production Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these machine learning models and the R Studio analysis. Today we're going to be looking at running back Emmanuel Wilson. Emmanuel Wilson did go undrafted in the NFL draft in 2023, but they find themselves now on the Denver Broncos. They come into the league out of Fort Valley State University. That is the Wildcats for those of you unfamiliar. So looking at some of the physical traits for Emmanuel Wilson, we can see that they come in at a height of 5 foot 11, a weight of 226 pounds, giving us a healthy BMI of 31.5. They came in with a 40 time of 4.62, which gives us a speed score of 99.2. And putting these physical traits in, along with some of their college numbers into the R Studio model. Uh, Manuel Wilson, very good college dominator rating of 42.1%. So what do we get putting those numbers in that prospect score for Emmanuel Wilson? 13.094, which does rank 148th overall out of the 310 running backs in the R Studio Models database. That is 523rd percentile so coming in in the top half of overall prospects in the r studio models database which is pretty good shifting over to see who are the closest comparables to emmanuel wilson's prospect score we can see that the next closest better than him are jordan wilkins ahmad bradshaw ito smith jeremy langford and storm johnson the five closest below danny woodhead ramondre stevenson Trey Sermon, DJ Dallas, and Zach Stacy. A couple of those are pretty interesting there with uh, Ramondre Stevenson and Trey Sermon. I think those are guys that were you know, a little bit heftier, you know, good size to them, not particularly fast in that 4 6 range. So I think those are pretty decent people to look at for Manuel Wilson. Obviously, both of those two were drafted third and fourth rounds in their respective drafts. Emmanuel Wilson went undrafted. So Keep that in mind, but those are the best comparables within the R Studio model. Switching now to that machine learning model, what does this say about Emmanuel Wilson? Well, we can see that it says 9.38 for his mean, 9.28 for the median, and then they have a 6.10 minimum prediction and a 14.37 maximum prediction, with that M50 gap coming in at 2.55. Nothing really to write home about there. Um, getting into those percentile outcomes, we do have the 10th through 90th percentile outcomes at 7.16, 7.99, 10.55, and 11.78 respectively for Emmanuel Wilson. Where do these hop into place with historical comps? Well, looking at that 9.38 range for their average, that's exactly Brian Robinson last year in his rookie season. That's 9.39. A bunch of people sitting in between 9 and uh, 9.4, I guess. Wendell Smallwood, Orleans Darkwood, Devontae Booker, Khalil Herbert, Dontrell Hilliard, Kenneth Dixon, Jonas Gray, Christine Michael, Andre Williams, Wayne Gallman, all between 9.0 and 9.11. Then we're hopping up to Brian Robinson, just slightly above that 9.4 range to 9.5. We're looking at... Peyton Barber, Jaquiz Rogers, Cam Akers, Rob Kelly, and Charkhandrick West, all between 9.4 and 9.5. That's the range you can expect Emmanuel Wilson to hit just as an average outcome should he get 80 opportunities in a season. Probably looking at somewhere in that range of production, which isn't particularly great. So what about that max output? 14.37, what does that look like? Well, just below that, in between 13.8 uh, and 14.2, we have Spencer Ware, Pierre Thomas, Michael Bush, Carrion Johnson, Damian Harris, Zach Stacy, and Miles Sanders coming in at 14.2 overall. A little bit above that prediction between 14.4 and 14.6. Tim Hightower, Jay Ajayi, Antonio Gibson, Marlon Mack, Lamar Miller, Giovanni Bernard, Tariq Cohen, LeGarrette Blunt, and Carlos Hyde. And their career best seasons were in that range. 
Again, Emmanuel Wilson, should he get 80 opportunities in a season? You can kind of think of his ceiling in that Marlon Mack, Lamar Miller, Tariq Cohen range for his career. But that would be a 100th percentile outcome, which is less than likely to hit. Uh, going into Emmanuel Wilson's rankings compared to the rest of the 2023 class, we can see that his mean rank and median rank, they're at 30, minimum rank 20th, maximum rank 28th in the class. Then getting into those percentile ranks, 26th, 31st, 30th, and 30th for the 10th, 25th, 75th, and 90th percentile ranks, respectively. And then sitting right in the smack middle there, uh, 16 out of the 36 prospects for his uh, M50 gap rank. So nothing to really write home about there. One of the worst prospects, I guess, in this model, you know, sitting in the bottom six or seven out of the 36 that we have. Um, so really nothing to write home about. We kind of heard some of the people, if he does get 80 opportunities, you're looking at what Brian Robinson gave you last year as a typical outcome. So hopefully the R studio model that we showed earlier, you know, he's in the top 50, uh, percent there in terms of prospects, not so good in the machine learning model, but hopefully the R studio model in this machine learning model can give you a little bit of additional information to make the correct choices. Once it comes draft season here and give you that confidence in all the analysis that you're doing for each of incoming rookies. That's going to do it for today's Rookie Prospect Profile on Emmanuel Wilson. This is presented by Zilla Fantasy Elite. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate the view. Bye. Every morning we drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble